Archaeology fans, we know you love hearing about great discoveries. It's why so many of you are already subscribed to our channel. Our team goes looking for tremendous tales about discoveries from distant locales and bygone eras. In this video, it's just great story after great story. No waiting around, let's get things started. There's an ancient mummy in China that has absolutely no business being in China. He's known to us as Churchin Man, and his remains were found in the Taklamakan Desert. The desert's name, when translated into English, means you enter but you never leave. That seems to have been true of Churchin Man. There would be no mystery here if this man were an ancient Chinese person who'd perished in the desert because of exposure, but he isn't. He looks very much like a Bronze Age European, and that's exactly what he is. His DNA confirms that he's of Celtic origin. He was found with three women and a baby, and all of those bodies are of Celtic origin too. The desert is thousands of miles east of the easternmost known ancient Celtic settlement, so we have no idea how he and the women and child who presumably made up his family got here. Obviously, they must have traveled from Europe, but did they come alone? If they didn't, were there more Celtic people in China during the Bronze Age? How could that be possible when no other trace of them has ever been found? Tazamal is an intriguing archaeological site that can be found in Chalchuapa, El Salvador. This ancient Mayan city offers a captivating glimpse into the rich history and cultural heritage of the region. At the heart of Tazumal stands a remarkable pyramidal structure known as Structure B1-1. This impressive temple, reaching a height of approximately 70 feet, features intricate architectural details and striking stone carvings. Exploring the site, visitors can also discover the intricately decorated ball court, ceremonial plazas, and residential complexes that once flourished with life demonstrating that these ancient people lived in a city rich with culture. Artifacts found at Tazumal provide insights into the daily lives and religious practices of the Mayan people who inhabited the city. The site's museum displays a collection of pottery, jade ornaments, and obsidian tools, shedding light on the craftsmanship and artistic prowess of the ancient Mayans. Tazumal is not only a historical treasure, but also a testament to the remarkable engineering and cultural achievements of the Mayan civilization, inviting visitors to immerse themselves in the mysteries of this ancient world. Life here began around 1,800 years ago and continued until the early 13th century. The rock paintings of Sierra de San Francisco are an awe-inspiring display of prehistoric artistry etched into the rugged canyons and cliffs of the Baja California Peninsula in Mexico. These remarkable rock paintings, dating back thousands of years, offer a glimpse into the rich cultural heritage of the indigenous peoples who once inhabited this region. Depicting a wide range of subjects, from human figures engraved in daily activities to animals, plants, and intricate geometric patterns, the paintings captivate visitors with their vivid colors and intricate details. The sheer scale of the site is astounding, with over 250 rock shelters and approximately 4,500 individual panels discovered so far. What makes these paintings even more remarkable is the challenging terrain they were created in, showcasing the ingenuity and artistic skill of their creators. The natural pigments used to bring these ancient murals to life have endured the test of time, speaking volumes about the cultural significance and craftsmanship of the people who left their mark on these rocky canvases. Today, the rock paintings of Sierra de San Francisco stand as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, inviting visitors to immerse themselves in the captivating beauty and mystery of this ancient art form. There's a new housing development planned for an ancient district of Jinan, China. Ahead of the planned development, Archaeologists have been given an opportunity to come in and conduct exploratory digs in the area to ensure that nothing of importance is lost. It's a good job they were called. In July 2022, they announced the discovery of a set of Yuan Dynasty tombs that come complete with incredible, brightly colored brick murals. The tombs were created during the mid-13th century. It appears that this was a large-scale cemetery, and although the tombs were built during that century, 
they continued to be used for hundreds of years after that. Written inscriptions found inside the tombs state that they were originally built for the Guo family, although their use expanded beyond the family over time. The quality of the craftsmanship at the site is outstanding, especially when you consider that the people who carried out the work used nothing more advanced than wooden hammers and chisels. This is the largest cluster of Yuan Dynasty tombs ever discovered in the country, and may yet have more secrets to reveal as the archaeologists continue their work. Almost hidden along the Las Piletas River in Narayit, Mexico, lies a fascinating collection of stone carvings known as the Alta Vista Petroglyph Complex. These enigmatic petroglyphs depict various symbolic images, including a man with a corn head, swirling vortices, and a weeping face. Thought to have been created by the Tecoquines, also known as the Throat Cutters, thousands of years ago, these petroglyphs hold deep cultural and spiritual significance. The site is adorned with offerings and votive contributions left by the Huichol people, who continue to revere this sacred space. The petroglyphs are a testament to the Tecochines' attempts to connect with the supernatural energy governing the seasons and their livelihoods. With over 50 known petroglyphs, the most striking include the Maze Man, symbolizing the importance of corn cultivation, the vortices representing cosmic energy, and the stone face symbolizing the weeping god Tlaloc and the life-giving rains. These powerful images of corn, sun, and water, immortalized in stone, continue to inspire reverence among visitors to the Alta Vista Petroglyph Complex, honoring the deep connection between humans and the natural world, both in the past and present. During the extensive 2022 excavations in the ancient city of Prusias ad Hippium, located in the province of Dusha in northwestern Turkey, archaeologists made a remarkable discovery, a marble block depicting the mythological story of Actaeon. He was a legendary Theban huntsman hero in Greek mythology, but met a tragic fate when he accidentally stumbled upon the goddess Artemis, bathing and was subsequently transformed into a stag. In a cruel twist of fate, Actaeon was hunted down and torn apart by his own loyal hounds. Found within the theater of the ancient city, the marble block is adorned with intricate plant motifs, serving as a backdrop for the scene depicting Actaeon's ill-fated encounter with Artemis. This discovery adds another fascinating layer to the ongoing excavations in Prusias ad Hippium, which aim to unravel the history of the region dating back to the 3rd century BCE. In addition to the Actaeon block, the excavation team has also uncovered other noteworthy artifacts. Among them are superstructure blocks, featuring masks associated with tragedy, comedy, and drama, reminiscent of similar findings in the area. Encouraged by these finds, there are still archaeologists working through the site today. Watson Break in Louisiana, USA might not have the aesthetic qualities of the pyramids or Stonehenge, but it's a lot older. Hunter-gatherers were building mounds and making earthenware here more than 5,000 years ago. Scientists almost didn't want to accept the age of the site, after it was confirmed by new tests in 1997. It forced them to rip up what they thought they knew about the sophistication of the people living in North America during this period of history. We used to think that hunter-gatherers moved on frequently, but Watson Brake and its mounds were lived in and reshaped over a period of several centuries. Whoever first came here decided to settle down, and they stayed for the long haul. The site is surrounded by 11 mounds, each of which is over 25 feet high and presumably used for defensive purposes. These pre-agricultural people were builders and innovators. Analysis of the gravel shows that it was once heated, presumably for cooking purposes. Some of the curiously shaped earthenware must have had functions beyond our understanding, or perhaps they were merely novelty decorations. Archaeologists excavating the Castillo di Matia de los Caños del Rio near Salamanca, Spain, made an intriguing discovery in May 2023, an intact suit of armor from the 16th century. The castle, previously thought to have been built after the Arab conquest, 
has a mysterious history with few verifiable facts known about it. However, the ongoing excavations have contradicted the historical narrative, as no evidence of Arab occupation or related architectural features has been found. The team has uncovered the castle's layout, including its interior and exterior walls, and identified various structures like circular towers and an armor room containing weapons and armor fragments. The complete suit of armor found is a remarkable find, comprising approximately 50 pieces. It includes a helmet, breastplate, trellis, elbow pads, greaves, and other protective components for the arms and legs. Excavations have also revealed crossbow bolts designed to penetrate armor, spike points for chainmail, and stone cannonballs known as stone shot or bolaño. These findings shed light on the military equipment and armaments used during the castle's existence. Even with this discovery, though, we now know less about the castle than we did before it was made. You'll find the Labrinten Vid Tibel in Hokassen, Badalunda, Sweden. The stone maze is around 2,000 years old, which comfortably makes it one of the oldest in the whole country. Nobody knows why it was created or who by. Hokassen, Badalunda is in the Anunshog region of Sweden, which is already well known for being rich in Viking era artifacts and so is a common hunting ground for archaeologists. But this labyrinth goes back way further than the Viking era. It's a particular style of maze known as a Trojaborg, and it's not a purely Swedish phenomenon. Other mazes of this design have been found elsewhere in Europe, most notably at ancient sites in England. The existence of the same design in so many places suggests a commonality of culture across Europe 2,000 years ago one that's not recorded in history books. One theory about the purpose of the maze is that as part of pagan spring rites, a girl would be placed at the center of the maze, and then a boy was sent in to rescue her but wasn't allowed to touch the stones. If he did so, he had to leave the maze, and another boy would get the chance to go in his place. We have no idea where that theory comes from, but it's old. We haven't been to England yet during this video, so let's change that and talk about the Corbridge Hoard. This treasure collection is made from iron rather than gold, but that doesn't make it any less valuable. The Corbridge Hoard was discovered in 1964 within the ruins of the Roman town of Coria, which is now part of Corbridge in Northumberland. This part of the United Kingdom has proved to be a rich hunting ground for archaeologists over the years, as an enormous collection of gold coins was found in the same area in 1911. The collection of iron goods was found in the remains of a 2nd century administrative building. They'd been placed in an iron-bound, leather-coated chest and buried deliberately for unknown reasons. The hoard's discovery was especially important because it contributed greatly to our understanding of segmented armor. The chest contained six full suits of Lorica Segmentata armor of the kind that the soldiers of the Roman Empire wore. Historians had always known the armor existed before this discovery, but they never understood how it fit together. The Corbridge Horde answered all of their questions. We're off to Bulgaria now, which is where these five ancient mirror frames were found in interesting circumstances in Pavlikeni in early 2018. The frames were found inside the remains of what's thought to be an ancient ceramics factory, which, in turn, is within the remains of a Roman villa. The villa is thought to have belonged to a veteran of the Roman military, so it's possible that he may also have been gifted a ceramics factory upon completion of his military service in recognition of his achievements. The factory, the villa, and the ornate mirror frames are thought to date back to the late 1st or early 2nd century. The glass that was presumably once inside the frames is long gone, but the frames have survived for this long because they're made of lead. In each case, they have identical decorations of large wine vessels with leaved vines emerging from them. This may have had personal significance for the villa's owner. Three of the mirrors have the same inscription, which reads as good luck, whereas the other two bear a message that's closer to good soul. Perhaps the mirrors were also retirement gifts to the military veteran from grateful colleagues. 
When we think of people who lived thousands of years ago, we tend to imagine them either dressed in animal skins or, after that, wearing long flowing robes or tunics. It might, therefore, surprise you to hear that a pair of 3,000-year-old trousers were found in a Chinese grave in April 2014. The discovery at the Yanghai graveyard close to Tarim Basin proves that humans were wearing trousers in East Asia a full 1,000 years before Jesus Christ was born. It's likely that the people of this area invented the garment, probably because they were more comfortable and practical for riding horses, and also offered a better degree of protection for delicate areas during combat than robes would. The 5,300-year-old remains of Otzi the Iceman, who was found in the Alps between Italy and Austria in 1991, were discovered complete with trouser-like garments. But they were individual leggings, rather than one complete garment. These trousers, made from a brown-colored woolen cloth, are much more akin to what we wear today. In fact, taking into account their decorative stitched design, they'd probably be considered quite fashionable. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, and you will be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.